Hey everybody, Justin here. So Tesla stock shot up yesterday and it is now above $640 a share, which is crazy. But honestly, I am not too surprised. And that is because I have consistently been bullish on Tesla stock for quite a while now. But as I record this video, Tesla just seems to keep going up and it is currently up in the pre-market about 1%. So I am very excited about Tesla stock's impressive performance. And I do have quite a bit of Tesla stock in my portfolio, so that's why I'm so excited. But today I wanna to talk about why Tesla stock seems to keep going up. And I also wanna discuss the price target the Goldman Sachs just put out. In case you are unaware, the new price target is $780 a share. And that is a big jump up from their previous price target of $455 a share. But even though this $780 number is being thrown around, I don't think it is responsible for driving the stock higher. And actually, I think it could be brokers like Goldman Sachs that are directly inflating Tesla stock. Now, this is not an idea that I came up with on my own. Instead, I read it in a Seeking Alpha article, and I think it makes quite a bit of sense. And of course, this is an unsubstantiated claim. I wasn't able to find any other sources to confirm it. So keep that in mind. But when looking at how long this rally in Tesla stock will last, this author makes some really good points. And he ultimately says that he believes that this rally will last well into January, which if he is right, and I tend to agree with him, then we could see Tesla stock potentially exceed this $780 a share price target by the end of the year. And we could also see Tesla stock maybe even hit $1,000 a share by the end of January of next year. So guys, I will try to keep this video short and sweet, but there is a lot to unpack here. So let's jump right into it. Here's the article I just referenced, and I will link it below in the description for any of you who want to read it in more detail. But this article basically says there are three different events that will drive Tesla stock higher over the next month and a half or so. The first is, of course, the inclusion of Tesla stock into the S&P 500. A lot of you are probably well aware of this, but this will trigger a buying spree by the index funds that track the S&P 500. And this will all happen on a single day, which will be the 21st of December. So it is going to be a really interesting day, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And we are most likely in for a very volatile trading day on the 21st. Tesla stock will most likely go up, which does make sense since funds will be buying it. But something that will happen also is that funds will have to sell a lot of their other holdings to make room for their Tesla stock. And keep in mind that there are trillions of dollars worth of stocks tied up in these big funds. So I would expect there to be enough selling to move the market as a whole. And to further put how significant this will be in perspective, it is estimated that funds will need to buy about $73 billion worth of Tesla stock on December 21st. So this is going to be a pretty significant day. Also, if funds are buying $73 billion worth of Tesla stock, that means that they will also need to sell $73 billion worth of all their other stocks which I am personally unsure of what that will look like. That could be spread out over all of the other 500 stocks, or it could result in just the bigger holdings like Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft taking a hit. But we will just have to wait and see what happens. Also, as the price of Tesla stock keeps going up, that means funds will have to buy even more shares, which will in turn drive the price of Tesla stock even higher. So it's kind of like an infinite feedback loop, if you're familiar with programming. Now, everything I've talked about up to this point, I feel like is pretty well understood by investors. But here's the curveball. The author of the Seeking Alpha article points out that it is possible that brokers like Goldman Sachs, as well as some others, could already be buying up large amounts of Tesla stock. And they are doing this potentially to help the funds on December 21st. And like I said, even though I can't confirm this, I think it makes a lot of sense. Essentially, Goldman Sachs would buy a lot of shares of Tesla between now and December 21st. And then on the 20th, the day before the 21st, after the market closes, they would sell their shares of Tesla stock to these big funds at the closing price. And of course, Goldman Sachs and the other brokers will ask for a fee in return for this service. So it is a good deal for Goldman Sachs. But it is also a good deal for the funds because it would allow them to buy their shares of Tesla stock based on the closing price on the 20th and not the opening price on the 21st. And since the price is expected to spike the morning of the 21st, this could be really helpful to the larger funds. 
Now again, I don't know if this is actually happening, but it does make a lot of sense. Also, another reason I think this might be happening is because ever since the announcement of Tesla's inclusion in the S&P 500, Tesla stock has gone on a big run. The announcement was made on November 16th, and since then, Tesla stock has run up from about $400 a share all the way up to $640 a share, which is quite a big jump. And Tesla stock does not show any signs of slowing down. So it is possible that retail investors are responsible, but it is more likely that there are some big players in the game that have started buying a lot of Tesla stock. Now, the third and most exciting thing that the author of this article points out is how the rally could continue even after the inclusion date passes. He points out that there are a lot of actively managed funds that are either underexposed or have no exposure at all to Tesla stock. And this is important because the whole goal of actively managed funds is to beat the passively managed index funds, which will be buying Tesla stock. So if Tesla stock keeps going up and the passively managed funds get a boost, then that will put pressure on the actively managed funds to buy Tesla stock as well. And as the author points out, it might not be a lot of Tesla stock that these actively managed funds are buying, but every fund manager will probably at least need to buy a 1% stake in Tesla to gain some exposure. Otherwise, they run the risk of underperforming the benchmark. Now, in my opinion, I do think this scenario is likely to happen. There are quite a few Tesla bears out there that are underexposed to Tesla stock. In the article, the author refers to them as big money bears, which is a pretty accurate description in my opinion. And these big money bears are currently very underexposed to Tesla stock. Goldman Sachs surveyed their customers and found that out of 189 of them, only 32 had any exposure whatsoever to Tesla stock. And keep in mind that combined, these 189 clients had roughly $500 billion worth of assets. So it's a pretty decent sample size. Also, the same article points out that there are $6.7 trillion worth of actively managed funds that use the S&P 500 as their benchmark. So like I said earlier, if these funds don't perform well against the benchmark because the benchmark has Tesla stock and they don't, then these actively managed funds will be more or less forced to buy Tesla stock. And keep in mind that this $6.7 trillion number is larger than the amount of assets in passively managed funds. So in my opinion, this could be a really big catalyst for Tesla stock moving into next year. And it could boost the price target well into January. Now, the other thing that could happen is that after December 21st, Tesla stock actually cools off, which is a likely scenario. And in that case, there won't be pressure on the actively managed funds to buy Tesla stock immediately. But even in that scenario where Tesla cools off a little bit, at some point Tesla stock will rally. And at that point, actively managed funds would be in the exact same position where they would be underperforming and would be pressured to buy Tesla stock. So in my opinion, even if these actively managed funds aren't pressured to buy Tesla stock immediately, all it will take is Tesla stock going on another massive rally and these actively managed funds will have to start buying in. So put together, these three catalysts are very significant and they could result in Tesla stock blowing past a $780 price target by mid-January of next year and potentially much sooner than that if everything goes according to plan. But with all that being said, stocks do have to actually produce results in order to justify their high valuations. Tesla currently has a price to earnings ratio well over a thousand. So make no mistake that the rally will reverse if Tesla cannot continue to execute. But the good news is that Tesla has got a lot going for it right now. They have released the beta version of their full self-driving software, which we talked about in our last video, and it is looking really impressive. Also, they have started selling their Model Y in China. So those are some big growth catalyst for Tesla stock right now. But at its core, Tesla is not a car company. They are very diverse and they can very easily use their technology to expand into other market segments. And of course, there's a lot of speculation on what these market segments might be, but I think Tesla has a very good chance of building out many different revenue streams as a company matures. We've seen this with Amazon and Apple and a lot of other trillion dollar companies, 
that have started very specific, but have expanded to sell a lot of different products and services. Amazon started out as just an online bookseller, and now they are into everything from streaming to Amazon Web Services, which is the cloud, and they have even started buying grocery stores. So I think Tesla is probably going to follow the Amazon blueprint and will probably expand into some very surprising market segments that a lot of people don't expect them to get into. So based on this, I've actually started loading up on Tesla stock in my retirement accounts as I do think they are a safe bet over the next 10 to 20 years. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, please hit that subscribe button. Also drop a comment below with your thoughts on Tesla stock. Are you bullish or are you bearish? Let me know below in the comment section. And with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.